and I'm with Concordia. We're an acceler accelerated Bachelor's of Science in Nursing program. And this is one of my managers, Kirk. Everybody say hi, Kirk. Hi. <laughs> He's here to support and help answer any questions. Um, so we have a main, Concordia has been around for quite a long time. We have a main campus in Irvine. And then we also have a brand new satellite site that just opened. It's called the Spectrum Irvine Nursing Campus. But we are also super excited. We're launching a brand new campus in Rancho Cucamonga. And it's the beauty of this campus. It's a hybrid campus. So it's part online, but part in person. And we'll get more into that in a few seconds as we do our slideshow. Uh, Vanessa. Make sure that. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so it'll not be a 20 to 30 minute, minute presentation. We're going to condense that. We're going to shorten it. Um, and so we'll get right into that. But talking about our Rancho Cucamonga campus. So my presentation, it's a high level presentation with general information. And then you can gather up all your questions. And I'm happy to um, answer at the end of my presentation or even at our table right after. All righty, sound good? Okay, so here's where our Rancho Cucamonga campus will be. How many of you are familiar with Rancho Cucamonga? Anybody? It's in San Bernardino County. So if you map it, I have brochures after. Um, and again, the beauty of this campus is that it is accelerated and we're gonna get into that timeline. Um, and so what do we mean by accelerated? So in just 15 months, in one year, in three months, once you've met all your prerequisites, we now have a brand new transfer path where you don't need a bachelor's degree. Um, you can actually transfer over with just a minimum of 65 credits or more. And then um, my brochures do have some of the core prereqs that our nice friend from um, Cal State Fullerton talked about. But I have the rest. If you're a transfer path and you don't have a bachelor's degree, then you're going to want to talk with me because I'll get a whole spreadsheet, a PDF spreadsheet, and I'll work with you. I'll advise you and I'll make sure that you're on track to taking the right classes. Sound great? All right. So we do have three start dates. We have three unrolling admissions. We have January, January which is spring summer, which is in May, and we also have fall in August. It is a full-time program, so we don't advise, we can't tell you guys what to do, but we don't advise that you work full-time. Um, if you have something manageable, um, because it is, as you know, a nursing program, it can be pretty intense, right? Yeah. How many of you have friends that are nurses or have been in the nursing program? So you kind of have an idea of what it takes, right? When you're in this intense program. All right. In our hybrid format, the classrooms, they are online. The exams are in person and our skills labs are in person. So while you'll be attending two to three days a week, um, the rest of the classes are online. It is go more at your own pace. And of course, you'll have deadlines. So there's 765 hours of clinical experience in a clinical setting. So you'll get to go on campus. How many of you have ever been in a classroom where they have hybrid mannequins? Have any of you seen those? And um, who knows what they can do? Anybody want to tell us? Okay, yes. We can basically like form the functions of a human, like the heart. And like blood pressure kind of stuff. Yes, yes. So that just what our lovely lady just said, they can function as humans. They can bleed. They can even give birth and they can talk back to you, <laughs> back at you. So it's pretty cool stuff. I've gotten the opportunity to see some of our sites in Portland, Oregon. That was a really great nursing site. And I just attended our brand new Spectrum and Irvine site. That was really awesome. It's a beautiful campus. And our Rancho Cucamonga site is awesome too. So you guys will all be invited to our kickoff. <laughs> We're really excited for that. Um, so these mannequins, they're high fidelity human patient simulators. Um, they do in-person role plays with mixed reality. And it's really an awesome thing to see. So 
you guys are going to get that. And of course you see real life people. So when you go into your local hospitals, you're going to get that hands-on clinical patient care training. Student support. So we take pride in Concordia's student relationship, the cohort. You're going to want to lean on your cohort. You're going to want to lean on your peers. Um, we really encourage that. And we have amazing faculty that is there for you to answer any questions. Me, Tina, I'm your advisor. I'll be there also to answer any questions and walk you through. Um, and so we are dedicated in that. And also we take pride in our NCLEX test prep. We have a very high score. And once you meet with me, I can email you um, our percentage of the scores, but it really is high. It's roughly at about last time I checked like 98%. So we have a high passing score. Admissions requirements. We do um, want a cumulative GPA overall of a 3.25 and your prerequisite GPA, your sciences, we want you to be really strong in the sciences because when you're a nurse, those things are important, right? Chemistry, as our lovely lady said, <laughs> um, and we'll get more into those. Physiology, human anatomy, microbiology, all those things are important. I know when I first, took on this role, one of our students, she had already taken chemistry. And I asked, well, what's the purpose of chem chemistry? And how many of you know what is the purpose of chemistry when you're becoming a nurse? Can you take a guess? Medicine. Medicine, yes. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, I happen to use bleach around my house. <laughs> I use bleach for everything. So I didn't know that if somebody's bleeding out, you shouldn't grab bleach, right? Because what happens when you mix bleach with blood? Anybody know? It becomes toxic. So yeah, chemistry is super important. So, um, also, this slide does talk about having a bachelor's degree. You can even <laughs> you can even earn. I mean, I love bleach, <laughs> so you can even earn. Um, you know your. ABSN now with our transfer path. So you don't need that bachelor's degree, but you do need the 65 credits minimum. All righty. And again, the GPA cumulative 3.25 and your prereqs at least a 3.0. So we do advise that you shoot for the stars, shoot for those A's, B's, so you keep your grade point average where it needs to be. So your general ed courses, your prereqs, your science courses, you're going to want to take anatomy, physiology, chemistry with the lab, microbiology with the lab. And you're going to want a B minus or better and no more than two repeats. All righty. And here we go. Um, your prereq non-science courses are lifespan psychology. And when we talk about lifespan, it's zero when the baby's in the womb till death. So zero to death, you want to make sure that you're signed up for the right psychology class. And yes, please feel free to take pictures. <laughs> and then I do have some really helpful flyers and some goodies for you. Um, introduction to statistics, nutrition, general psychology, oral communications, written communications, and intro to sociology or cultural anthropology. And we keep, can't stress enough your GPA. And am I going backwards here? Oh, uh, more requirements that we do require is you're going to want two letters of recommendation. It's good to start getting these now if you're close to the finish line. If you only have a few more classes, it's and that's where I advise you when I walk you through, you're going to want to make sure to get those letters. And you're going to need with our program 100 hours of healthcare experience. Does anybody know what healthcare experience would look like? Hands on patient experience. I'm sorry, what? Hands on patient experience. Yes, hands on patient experience. No transcribing. We've had some people not ask and then they go and they do transcription or typing for medical stuff and that doesn't count, but hands on does. So if you have any questions about that, you can talk to me as well. And you don't need to have any kind of license. You don't need to be a CNA or anything like that. You just need to get those hours. And for example, I have students that are taking doing 20, 25 hours a week, and in one month, they have their hours done. So it's very doable. I know it's like, it sounds like a lot, but it's it's pretty doable. Statement of intent and personal essay, you're going to need that. And we do have um, a link 
that guides and walks you through that statement of intent and how to actually do the personal essay. So you get help with that. And then um, you're gonna do a recorded interview with questions and responses. Oh, did you need, a, I saw someone taking a picture of that slide. Oh, thank you. Yes, sorry. If I'm moving too fast, please stop me. Just say, Tina, stop. <laughs> All right, everybody good? Okay, our first core hope. Core horde, I can't talk, I need more coffee. Drum roll. It's this fall and it's actually to be corrected. It's 2024 in January. We have limited spots and we're starting with 48, but we do plan on expanding to up to 72 at our max. Cause we still want, we wanna help students, but we also wanna keep those classroom sizes nice for you. All right, so how do we determine who gets a seat? We have the three rolling admissions that we talked about previously. And your deposit gets you a seat in line, okay? And we're very transparent about our list. We tell you if you're number four on our list, we tell you you're number four. If you're number 16, we tell you you're number 16. If you're number 46, we tell you you're number 46. I know some students have gotten denied at schools and then they don't even know why. And I'm like, well, do you know why? And they're like, no, I don't. And do you know what number you are in line? No, I don't. So I do encourage every, everyone to do your due diligence. We have so many great schools here. We've got Grand Canyon. Everybody give a hand for them. <laughs> We've got Concordia. <laughs> and we also have Vanguard. And who's in the back? Fullerton. Fullerton. And so we have great schools and we all support each other. So it's what's going to be a good fit for you. We encourage you to find that out, right? Because, well, you need to know what's going to be a good fit we also want to make sure you're a good fit for our program too. Does that all sound good? Yeah. And then, oops, what happened? Did I press something wrong? <laughs> there we go. Next steps. You can email me your name and your email address, and then I will get back with you and we'll schedule an appointment. This way you can find out even more about our program. I'll have you, if you wanna email me your transcripts today, email me your transcripts. We'll set, set up an appointment and I'll walk you through, I'm gonna map out everything for you in PDF format. And we'll make sure that each semester you're taking the right classes that you should be and that you stay on target. Along with your wonder, wonderful counselors here at IBC, we wanna walk hand in hand with them as well. All right, so just include your name, phone number, all the good stuff. Um, our admissions team will get back with you. And what am I pressing here? Sorry about that. Sorry, can I take a phone? Yeah, I wanna go back. Somehow I pressed something wrong, <laughs> but I want you to be able to get my um, email. Do you guys have any questions? You've been such a great audience and interactive. Does anybody have any questions about Concordia? Yeah, I just want the last slide. Yeah. We'll get all these PowerPoints to all the students. Yeah. The last one more. Oh, is it not? That's weird. Shows right there. You're good. Oh, two. there I am. You can take it. Feel free to take a picture. And thank you so much. I'm Tina with Concordia. This is Kirk. And if you have any further questions, I'm happy to answer. And please.